So welcome to another beautiful sunny day out here in Alpes d'Huez in the middle of the French Alps, where we're out deliberately really, really early with no one else around, with the sole purpose of getting our puppies happy and playing around in the snow. It's too early in their development and their training to really get them to do, let's say, proper ski touring off into the middle of nowhere and start working through safety procedures. So the sole thing we're focused on right now is that they're not scared, they're not afraid of the skis, the poles, the snowshoes and everything we're carrying around and make sure they're having fun chasing snowballs and bouncing all over the place. Now this piece we're climbing up just now is one of the most popular beginner pieces in Aptuez called Marcel's Farm. Super wide, super mellow, really easy skiing, which is why we've chosen it for these dogs. There's, there's no one else around, that's pretty clear at this time of the season and of course middle of Covid. No lifts open anyway. Most importantly, there's no dangers at all for these pups. If they do decide to disappear up the hill slightly that way, or slightly over the bank that way, all they're gonna find is half a foot or a, half a foot or so of fresh snow. So that's our first goal. Make sure they're safe, having fun, enjoying it. And as you can see, I think they're pretty comfortable. This is definitely a change when we were first unloading the kit from the car. The, uh, the sort of fear you could see and then they're pulling against the leads. They didn't know what all this extra stuff was that we're carrying around and all those crunchy noises going on. <laughs> weren't happy at all. But this is a great start. This is exactly what we're hoping from these guys. I should say just now they're four and a half months old. That's Rocky legging it off at the front, the boy, and his sister Luna in the grey just behind them. They're uh, rescue pups from Lemnos, a small island in Greece. There's a little rescue centre. I'll put the link in the description. So if you do want to get in touch, make donations, or even rescue pups. They do ship them off around the world and look after them all over the place. And that's where we got these two when they were just under three months. A lot smaller than they currently are. And we gave them a month or so, let's say training and socialization in the, on the beaches of Greece before we brought them out here. So it's been quite a change of climate. Don't worry. They really weren't sure about the snow themselves. It's taken a bit of time to get them this far. And we'll see how they go over the season. Good girl, good girl. What was quite good at the start is the dogs are so scared of the skis and the snowboards and all this stuff, they weren't getting too close to us. Which is definitely what I kind of want at the start. I don't want them to be chasing and aggressive towards the kit. I don't want them to be too inquisitive and getting too close to those skis just yet. Because of course when we turn around it's time to come down. The last thing I want is them chasing directly after the ski. We need to make them want to be near us, but not so near us that if they hit the brakes too quickly, something could happen with ski into them. The safety of the dog is, of course, our number one priority as we're coming up, and most importantly when we come down as well. So we're very conscious of not taking these dogs too far when they're too young. So we've only gone a kilometer or so up the piece just now. And the technique we're gonna to do to bring them back down is like a leapfrog technique. So I've gone ahead a little way just now. The other ties are waiting back a little bit. Come here, Luna, Rocky. And then we're gonna fire them down at me. We're gonna get them all hyped up to come straight towards this me. Way, Rocky, come on. Then hold them and then the next person come down. Come here, Rocky, come. Good girl, Luna, come here. Luna, come. 
Luna, good girl, come here. Good girl. Rocky. Come here, Rocky, come. Good boy. And sit, sit guys, sit. Well done. Wait there. Good dogs. Definitely scared of the noise, but it wouldn't have been much better with that though, could it? <laughs> We spent a bit of time doing some puppy training out in Greece before we came back to the snow here. And two top tips that we picked up and we're using just now is bribery, goes down a storm. You may have just seen some treats getting given to them, encouraging them there. And the other top tip we're saying was, or we heard, was about keeping their leads on, which we were confused about. It seemed like they were going to trip up over their own leads, but they really haven't. And it's made it so much easier to grab them. If they're nearby and not quite listening, just being able to grab the, ski, the, uh, the lead has made things so much easier. Good. I mean, not sitting, but you definitely waited. Well done, dogs. It's complete chance as we come down just now. This is our next door neighbour with their dog Leto, who's uh, about a year and a half now, and she's just learning. To, he's just learning to uh, to go ski touring and stay safe as well. Good dogs, come on down. No. Good girl, good girl. Go on, Rocky, good boy. So we're nearly at the bottom just now, and I don't think that could have been much more of a success. I'm really happy with the space that we gave them to, to make sure that they were safe enough that there was no risk of anyone crashing into them, or if they stopped too quickly, no one was any near, anywhere near them. The, uh, the sort of leapfrog idea, or catapulting one down the hill, chasing after the others, has worked really, really well. And what's great, as you see them come past me now, is that they're happy enough around the kit. They're not terrified of what's on our feet and the noise that's going on, but they're definitely nervous enough that they're not coming really close to our feet. At least not when we're moving. Oop. Let me drop the camera. At least not when we're moving, but when we stop, with treats and bribes and lots of affection, of course, they're straight back to us, having a great time. And we're going to do this a few more times before we change our tact and start looking more at some, uh, some stuff to do in the softer snow and when we start venturing into some more adventurous areas. Rocky! Rocky, come! Luna, come on! Yes! Yes! Good dogs! Well done! Well done!